cutting down your golf clubs is actually a really easy process even if you have absolutely no clue about what you're doing with any of it the only real difficult part about it is deciding what you're going to do about the grip so you can either take it off and save the grip or you can just rip it off and put a new grip onto it i have a separate video on that which i've just done actually which is why i feel a bit lightheaded because i've kind of gassed myself out in here with all the spirit fumes so that video basically just shows you how to take the grip off without actually cutting it just a quick two minute tutorial and next week i'm making a video on how to basically just give you an idea of what sort of length your golf club should be but today i'm just going to focus on how to cut it down yourself if you just fancy giving it a go really so just a few basic things that you'll need for doing this so like i said the first thing we'll look at is the grip so what you need for that if you're just cutting it off then you'll just need a knife so a hook blade type of knife will work a lot better you can get one of them for like two pound off of ebay or amazon or something i'll link everything i use in the description something like that will do the job if you don't have a hook blade even just a normal stanley knife type of blade will do the job if you want them to save your grips then you'll need a grip rod like that which is what i showed how to use in my other video that i just mentioned and then when you come to put your grips back on at the end you'll need some double-sided tape like so and some paint thinning type of solution like turpentine or white spirit or something like that again another video that i have that might be worth checking out if you don't know how to regrip a club is my regripping club video i'll link all the videos in the description as well just if you want to check them out it's easier doing separate ones like that rather than trying to cram the same things in every video that i'm making and once you've managed to to take the grip off and you've got rid of all the tape what you'll need for that is it depends whether you're using steel or graphite so if you're cutting down steel you'll need something like this so just a normal ordinary pipe cutter and they come in different shapes and sizes but they do the same job just anything that cuts through steel basically but something like that won't work on graphite because the pipe cutter on graphite will just splint the shaft and it will split it all the way down you just need a normal ordinary saw just like a normal hack saw and that will cut through the graphite pretty easily and yeah that's all you need for doing it so we disregard the grips taking them on and off the things we need for that all we need for if we're doing steel is a pipe cutter and if we're doing graphite just a normal hacksaw which most people have lying about anyway and I don't really think you actually need a tutorial there's pretty common sense in there but I'll go through it anyway to start with getting rid of the grip so this one I'm just going to cut off if I was saving it I'd do the old uh, grip rod trick which like I say check out the other video if you need to have a look at that one for this one I'm just going to cut it off so uh, that was with the hook blade so literally just run it down the down the grip and it will just go on straight off like so and that's straight off with the grip Dump that down there and then i'm just going to get rid of the tape which is the worst part about doing club repairs is getting rid of this tape a few moments later so as you can see this is a steel shaft so i'm going to be using a pipe cutter on this one if you're wanting to get an idea of how it will be as like just the shaft you need to remember that when you put the grip on there's probably like quarter maybe half an inch on top of the actual shaft once you put it back on so just keep that in mind it might be worth just sort of marking on the shaft where you want to cut it just mark where you want to cut it down to and that just gives you a guideline as where to cut it you can if you know like you want to cut it down half an inch or an inch then obviously measure it literally you're just going to take your pipe cutter so this is a new one I've got, a bit of a smaller one. That sort of style one probably works a bit better. As you can see, this is kind of being held together with elastic bands, so we had to get a new one, and I couldn't find any of these, so this one I had to do. The smaller one, just a bit bigger, so like more times not bigger is usually better, if uh, you get what I mean. But yeah, they both work exactly the same, so you're just going to put your pipe cutter around the shaft, and I'm just going to make an incision all the way around to start with, just so I can see the line that I want to cut it on. And as you keep going around you can just keep tightening it up till the whole thing comes off basically so as you keep going around a few times just tighten it up just keep doing that until you hear it kind of going if you listen to that you can hear it like cutting all the way through it and it'll just come all the way off and you'll be left with something like that so that should be how much you wanted it cutting down by and that's what you'd be left with in most cases it usually cuts pretty well if the, if the blade's quite sharp if it's not it's not it might be worth just rubbing it out with a bit of sandpaper if you've got some it's not you don't need to but just to help protect against it maybe going through the grip but i've never known that to happen that's what the professionals will tell you to do and there you have it there is your cut down shaft so from there all you need to do is put the grip back on and then if you're doing graphite exactly the same principle uh, doing exactly the same but we're doing it with the hacksaw instead of the pipe cutter i've got a clip that i did from i've done this video before in the past and i just didn't like it so i'm redoing it uh, but i'll just show you that bit from there because i don't really want to put down the shaft to be honest a vice will help but you don't really need one if you do put it into a vice or a clamp just be careful not to damage the shaft just maybe put in like 
if you cut the grip off you can put the grip outside and just protect it uh, just make sure it's well padded out so you don't scratch the shaft because it is easy to scratch on graphite uh, but yeah, literally just hold it down and just get it sawing away where you want to cut it down to. And yeah, it works exactly the same as it does with the steel. You'll be left with a bit of the graphite on the end. So you should be should be all good, even for the novice beginners. But yeah, once you've done that and uh, you got to this point, then like I say, just bang on your tape, double-sided tape, fill your grip up with solution and just stick it on, basically. So you're best off just watching my re-gripping video, which will uh, show you a bit clearer. Uh, but yeah, that's all there was to it. That's as easy as that. It literally took me two or three minutes, if that, to be honest. And that was while I was recording. So uh, yeah, if you're doing like a full set, then it would take you probably no longer than an hour. It was just dead straightforward. So I haven't really got anything else I can say. Um, but thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.